Hey there, this is Debbie Murray, Alangus Mini and Toy Aussies in Kentucky. And this is my Fancy and Randy letter 2016. They all have full tummies and just taking a nap. These puppies were born on the 28th of July, so they are six days old, five days old. I'll have to calculate to be sure. I didn't plan ahead on saying that, so I'm not sure. I have three males, three females. The two little black tries, the one you're looking at right there is a little female, excuse me, a little male. And the one right over there, the little black is a female. And then we have the merles and the merles Three, uh, two of those are female and two are male. These puppies are, their dam is cattle called Fancy, don't let me down. Fancy is one of my older females. Uh, she has given me five beautiful litters over the course of her breeding season. Fancy will be seven in November, so it is possible this is her last litter, although she did a great job. She's a good mother, she's a great dog, a good pet. Just nothing but good things to say about her. The sire to these puppies is a male that I've used multiple times. He's owned by John Goforth at AG Aussies in uh, near Atlanta. He's RB's Randy the Rebel. He is a blue merle male, about 13 inches, about 16, 17 pounds. Very, very nice male. And this, along with Fancy, has given me, as I mentioned, beautiful litters with excellent temperament. Two of my females that I have here, my breeding females, one young one that's just a year old that I haven't used yet, and then my Rosie, who is three years old, that has given me, well, she's four years, almost four, has given me uh, two litters. Both of those little females are this same cross. So I just keep repeating it because I know the puppies will turn out to have good personalities and be intelligent, very biddable dogs, very mellow for the most part, and very trainable. These little Merle puppies, I mean, they have fattened up. They look like little groundhogs. Uh, I weighed them yesterday, and the four little Merles are weighing in yesterday at about 13 ounces. Uh, the smallest uh, black tri, which is right now the little male, weighed about 10 ounces, and the little female weighed about 11 ounces. So the two little black tries are a little bit smaller right now. That doesn't mean they won't catch up, but at this point in time, that's where they are. Sometimes just, just who can get to the milk quickest and who has the most push and shove uh, as to which one fattens up quicker beautiful puppies. I've had, I haven't had any puppies on the ground since last summer, so I am really enjoying having them here. I'm a small breeder in Kentucky, and if you have questions about my puppies or about my breeding uh, program, please give me a call. Uh, if contact information is on my Langasauces Facebook and also on my website alangusaussies.com. That's alangus, A-L-A-N-G-U-S, Aussies, A-U-S-S-I-E-S.com. These puppies will be miniature uh, Australian Shepherds with the possibility that that one little, one small male may be less than 14 inches, so he may uh, be toy size. It's still hard to tell at this point in time because sometimes the ones that are the chubbiest turn out to be smaller and the ones that are the smallest get a growth spurt and turn out to be larger. This is Debbie Murray, Alangus Mini and Toy Aussies. And this is my 2016 litter from Fancy and Randy. 
signing off.